somebody modeling. <laughs> Fashion for the homestead. <laughs> Instead of a cell phone, we carry a walkie-talkie, since there's no signal here. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Rich and Kathy here. And today we are talking about the Midland two-way radio system with the base station. We <laughs> bought these when we bought our camper, which and was about six years ago. Yeah. So we've had these for six years. Yeah, and we've used them camping um, when we went to the meat fair for you, for the flying yep. thing. Uh, we've used them a lot. We have. Well, for us here in the prop on the property, there's really no cell service. There's uh, no phone. There's no internet we don't have anything hooked up here so for us it's very important to have a two-way radio system that we can depend on and hey rich just testing are you there i'm here can you hear me i can hear you so we know the walkie-talkie works from the trailer richie is up at the shed up at the clearing i'm going to walk toward the road and we're going to do a test I'm at the road, Rich, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Um, we like this system because it came with everything we need. The base station, rechargeable batteries, the charging system, and uh, another headset, which we really don't use. It comes but with it came two of them. With, yeah, we've never everything. used those. So yeah, two radios, two chargers, two batteries, everything you need. You can charge it with the car. It had a DC adapter and it had the AC adapter. And if the rechargeable batteries aren't able to be recharged, right. we can put AA batteries in them. Right, which was one of the main reasons we bought it. So if you're in a pinch, you can just pop some AA batteries in these and they'll work. A lot of the other radios we looked at, you couldn't take them in and out. Right, it's internal and yeah. you can't take it out. They're really good though. We've dropped them. We've. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of features. You know, we basically just use the basic features push to talk. You know, there's all, you know, all the channels are here. We like the base station too. This is in the, we keep this in the trailer and this works really good. Right. This is the Midland base station, which just went up the mountain, up the hill, up the driveway, whatever you want to call it, up there. We were building the shed, and hey. I'm here, and it works. What? Does that also work as a two AM, FM radio? It does, and it has a crank right. to crank it up if you can't charge it through the AC or the DC, and it has a light on it. Um, you could also put batteries into the back of this one too. So that's, they're, they're just really useful in a lot of different ways depending on the situation. And that's what I, I, I don't know, that's what I liked about it. Plus I like the fact that it's all the same brand, it's all Midland, so you know that they're going to work well together. And they do. We started off with four. All right, first we bought, we bought two, <laughs> we liked them, we bought another two, so we'd have four. Plus the base station. Right. And then what happened? <laughs> all right, the only thing about these is they don't like moisture at all. Uh, the first one got left out in the rain. Pouring rain, mind you. That that one bit the dust right away. Gone. Then we had another <laughs> one that was, uh, we were using it when it was raining out, and it wasn't really in the rain, but we, you know, it got a little wet, and um, that one shortly died after that. So yeah, that one didn't survive. So that now we were down to two. This one here in my hand. Is that it, or is it yeah, one? that's the one. Still works, but it does no longer, it no longer lights up. All right, that one's on and it looks fully charged. So take that okay. one. And, oh, couldn't get it out. This one's on and it's fully charged, but it doesn't have that glow screen. I don't know why they're different. It's broken. The, the screen went out on that one. Yeah, that's the only thing though. But that's Just the only the thing. It still we works perfectly. We can't figure that out at all. But we're down to like one and a half. Right, so basically we're down to one and a half. <laughs> but we like them. And for six years of use, we tested them all over our property. We have 30 acres and we basically went to all the corners and, and you know, tested back to home base and up to the shed that we built. And they worked really well for us. Line of sight is a big deal. We didn't right. have a lot of hills. And didn't you ride up the mountain on the ATV really far? 
I did. On the trail? Yeah, I have no way of clocking it, but it was... Uh, you went pretty far, and we pretty still far. got a pretty good signal. And it's directly through the trees, so they work pretty well. Yeah. Anyway, we're down to one and a half. What'd we do? We bought more. <laughs> First of all, these camo ones are more expensive. These were actually cheaper because they're not camo. I guess if you buy anything camo, they're more money. I don't know. So these were actually cheaper. And on Amazon, when I bought them, the description, not the description, the title on Amazon said they were waterproof. Now, when we got the box and looked at the outside of the box, it doesn't say that anywhere. No, it doesn't. But again, it comes with the charging base. It comes with two batteries, uh, the headsets, everything but the base station, basically. So this will be a good addition to what we have. This is called the GXT Pro Series. The GXT 895, and this is the GXT 1030. So anyway, on the Amazon site, it said that they're waterproof. It doesn't say anything on the box. Maybe they'll at least be water resistant. <laughs> That's all we could hope for. Better than the other ones were. So stay tuned for an unboxing and a test of these as soon as we get a chance. That'll be on another video. Yeah. All right. Hike into the back of the property to put the game cam card in and check how the Midland two-way radios work from a distance. And right here, you can see, is the border of our property marked in orange. So I'm literally walking the line. I walk the line. And there's our cam. So let's do a radio check. Richie, I'm at the game cam. Over. I can hear you. So the Midland two-way radios work great. We've had them for at least five years now. So yeah, things are going wrong here and there every now and then, and we've left them out in the rain. But all in all, they work really well for us here on the homestead, and they are our only form of communication here right now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.